Hello everyone and welcome to the Thursday Live. I'll, um, I'll let a few people uh, join before we get into it. Uh, you, may see, um, you may see a chair next to me. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you will have seen the Facebook post and uh, at some point very soon Rob will be joining us for a Q&A. I will um, just wait for a few people to join and we will uh, get straight into it. Um, we've got a few people in. Hi Kelly, hope you're well. A lot of people have been waiting for this moment, so I think um, give a little bit of a drum roll and um, we will um, get straight into it. So, cue, uh, cue Rob. Bit awkward, he's not. Uh... It's fine, come on in. Are you in? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm here. Here he is. The moment you've all been waiting for, guys, in the flesh. <laughs> Rob. Um, so here we are. This is the uh, first time. A few of you might have uh, mentioned that you've spoken to him on the phone. Uh, you will have seen photos of him, but here he is. This Rob is me. Flesh. I do actually exist, <laughs> if anyone is wondering. Um, I'm just up here for a couple of days now that COVID restrictions are obviously eased up. Um, are we supposed to be reading that? Yeah, so th there's a few comments. Oh, right. I'm sure it's just people. Rob, I'm seeing a load of... It's Rob. Um, so yeah, it. Rob is up for a few days, so we managed, we mentioned on the Tuesday live, me and Nick, we mentioned that we would uh, persuade him to come on and uh, finally he's uh, he's given in and he's on for... Uh, I'm here, of, uh, you're not letting me do any of the talking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we're, uh, we're very excited Definitely. and uh, it's, uh, it's good to be up here. I spend too much time down in London and it's always good to see the team and it's grown a lot since uh, we probably... Since I was last up here, that's for sure. I mean, we've pretty much built this business on Zoom and uh, WhatsApp and things like that. So it's, it's, as I say, it's very good to be here in the flesh. And uh, Ollie's been clearly the, uh, the man in charge for all things Facebook Live. So he's been doing a very good job. I, uh, I appreciate that, Rob. <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously, Rob, Rob might get a taste for this. And he uh, never know, he might have his own series. All you, right. you never know, you never know. But uh, I did post on the Facebook saying we are doing a Q&A with Rob. Obviously, it's the first time you guys seen him in person. So we will get straight into that. I have picked five of the top questions. Um, Rob is Nick, get out from under the table. <laughs> Rob is um, completely, you don't know what questions are coming. But um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. There's a first question. This was from Davina that I saw. Davina asked, how do you reply to comments that are negative? So you do a lot of the trust pilot reviews. Oh, right. um, so how how do you stay calm in those situations where you receive a comment that's negative? Uh, good, very good question. Actually, um, it is quite hard because when you're the co-founder of the business, you um, you can be a bit too emotionally attached. But uh, it's just something you got to take with a pinch of salt. At the end of the day, we're a drinks company, and I think as the years have gone on, we've le I've learned to accept that you just can't make a flavour and a product that is absolutely for everyone. Um, Often people will come back saying it's too sweet. So I always say, well, if it's too sweet, just add more water. Normally dilutes it quite a bit. But um, on the whole, I mean, our, our reviews are very, very positive. And as I said, you're just, you're never gonna please every single person. Um, I, I just take it with a pinch of salt and I, I just say to them, yeah, it's, you know, thanks for trying. Um, uh, the other thing I always say is actually, have you tried it hot? Because normally everyone just tries it cold and. Like tropical for me, I actually prefer it hot rather than cold, which maybe is a bit of a um, unpopular opinion. But uh, yeah, I am a, a, a much more of a hot tropical fan than a, a cold one. Interesting. So yeah, it's definitely down to preference at the end of the day, isn't it? Always, like you said, take it from a pinch of salt. Not everyone's going to be. Yeah, it's just yeah. you know, like you Definitely. just cannot make a drink that is for absolutely everyone. Yeah, so um, I've learned to understand that. Um, and this is obviously you mentioned tropical there, but which is your favourite vidrate flavour? Favorite flavor, uh, mojito. Mojito for me is the um, really refreshing. Chuck in a bit of ice, get it, not, you know, super cold, and uh, yeah. And just, you are wearing the green the t I am actually, yes. mojito t-shirt. I am. So no, I would say uh, get your hands. There's not much left actually. I know we've have we sold. Oh yeah, we did announce that um, orange and peach is sold out, but. Uh, there's really not much of mojito left, everyone. So don't hang about because mojito, once it's gone, it's gone. 
and currently you can get all Nito 30 packs. Kelly Canning, sorry, Kelly Canning. This is all new to me, I'm not very good with this technology. She is loving Mojito. Carry on, sorry. Definitely. <laughs> Kelly is a massive fan of uh, Mojito and we know she's uh, got a massive stock up on Orange and Peach, over a thousand sashes for Kelly. Um, Hugging but, it. Yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah, Mojito uh, 30 packs are, and all 30 packs are just for a limited time only, £15. So that is an awesome, awesome discount, and it's not one to miss out on. Should we? So, on to another one. Clothing. Which is your favourite piece of by Drake clothing? Uh, it's this this thing. With, um, half zip. That's it, half zip. I do know my stuff, I promise you, but uh, caught me off guard a bit. But yeah, I think that's really good. I think it's good for when you're going out, um, just you know, walks into the gym and stuff like that. So, 100%, I would be. Uh, I'm a fan of that one. Definitely, and there was a post that went on Instagram just before this live of a photo of uh, Nick modelling it. Nick pretty much lives in his, it's an absolutely awesome half zip. And like Rob said, you can wear it for pretty much everything. So comfy, got the uh, little thumb straps here for all the all you guys that run. But yeah, we'll uh, get back onto the Q&A. We've got one, a really funny one actually, because obviously we have banter on the lives. I, I'm not sure you do tune into a few of the lives, so you will see yeah, yeah. Nick has a lot of banter with the customers, so everyone's got their say on Nick, but what is your personal say on Nick? How would you describe Nick? Oh, Nick as a person? Yeah. Um, Business partners, oh, friends? Good question. He is, uh, I'll say, I'll definitely have to say something nice because he's next door, <laughs> probably listening in, but no, Nick, no, Nick's fantastic and incredibly hard working which I'm sure is reflected on all the Facebook lives and you know he is the uh, he uh, symbolizes what it is to do a hard day's work that is for sure so um, I would say and, and you know the, the great thing about his background is he's very nutritionally minded so you know when we came to start this business he was very much leading the whole nutritional side of things uh which isn't really my my well i, I understand the basics of it but he's really geeky on all that stuff so yeah i mean it, it was certainly helpful that he had all the nutritional understanding and um yeah he he just you know he, he, his alarm goes off at crazy o'clock in the morning and uh, up he gets gets to work and off he goes so uh you know it's great to have him uh you know, as part of the business and, and driving it forward. Definitely, and you've, I've only met you a few times, but you can tell as soon as you and Nick are in the same room, the dynamic, it works really well, and you can, oh, right. you can tell just as a little bit of a... You're looking concern. for a Christmas bonus <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is true, um, the dynamic works really well, and obviously it is sad because of COVID, but now restrictions are lifted, I'm sure we'll see more of Rob, but when he's up here, the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the amount that gets done and all the chats is uh, some amazing stuff, and obviously Vajra is doing really well at the moment and growing massively so it's it is amazing you uh you're looking to sort of sit next to me <laughs> we, we, we might have a few work drinks later and he's looking to sit next to me just to see if he can bump up his salary <laughs> definitely not um, <laughs> um and on the final question if you could have any flavor of vidre what would it be any flavor what well, future flavor future if you could pick any flavor anything. uh all oh, right um uh, two, I mean, there are two bits to me. One would be a, I think cranberry is quite an exciting one. I think it's come up a few times on, like, with the um, the customers. A so cranberry, I, I would be very keen on, and I, I'm keen to sort of um, uh, build out our nighttime uh, sachets as well. So maybe look at like a nighttime, another nighttime flavour as soon as possible. I think uh, mixed berries receive really well, but oh, Kelly canning and get oh, Kelly, you're brilliant at this. You're on it the whole time. <laughs> um, uh, night time, yeah. I'd like to bring out another flavour in night time. And cranberry. And cranberry is on our list, actually, for, and that's probably one of the main reasons you are up, because we have got a massive tasting session coming up with potential Christmas flavours coming very soon. So, uh, cranberry is on that list. There's oh. a few other ones. Um, gingerbread, uh, there's a few other ones. Well, let's not give them all away. I mean, and Nick, keep Nick the... has already given oh, has the list. He? Yeah, yeah. Nick, all of them. They are aware. Oh, they are right. aware of what's on the list, but there is a lot. There is a lot of them. Yeah. So it's, it, there's, there's apples. There's well, a load of different ones. That yeah, we're going to be we're going to try a few flavors out over the next twenty four hours while I'm up here, and um, yeah, I think there's about a list of about seven or eight different flavors. So we're going to try them out with the whole team this afternoon and tomorrow, and uh, we're going to try and shortlist a couple of flavors and then. Have a see if we can get something launched at the end of this year. It could be quite exciting. Perfect, definitely. Um, and we will keep you guys up to date with how those tasters go. 
Um, so I think we will wrap that up here. Uh, Rob is obviously up for a few days, so he's got a lot to be on with, with Nick. Um, loads of meetings to be in and out of. So we will um, let Rob go here. But thank you for joining our Thursday Live. Obviously, welcome Rob on his first live. I uh, hope you found it. You like? Yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's very exciting, good. It's, it's good. I'm trying to read the comments as I go through, which I'm probably not supposed to do. But uh, no, no, that's that's, that's oh, it is. yeah, that is right. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm I can not see really... Nick. Nick is on the uh, live, replying to a few there. I've seen the Vidra account a few times. So if if any comments have been missed, I will come back after this live and uh, reply to you to you guys. But yeah, thank you for joining. Um, thank we you. We'll uh, see Nick on his Sunday live. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining. Do you want to say our farewell, Rob? Indeed, yeah. Look, thanks very much, everyone, for joining in. Sorry it was a bit short and sweet, but uh, it's been good good, uh, good fun and good questions, Ollie. Thanks very much, and everyone have a fantastic afternoon. Perfect. And uh, I'm sure we will. you might see, or you will see, Rob very soon. Perfect, guys. Thank you for joining. Cheers. Bye.